Hey there, Exiles, it is Necron370 here, and we are back bringing you another look at a dungeon in the Exiled Lands. Uh, today we are taking a look at the Wine Cellar. Uh, but before we get started, let's show you where this is. We are in the coordinate 7, 2, and uh, it is located just over here by the water. So first off, as we come in, we are going to meet met with Seth the Drunk. Um, he is not overly difficult, but he does have a little lore behind him, as the uh, as the devs have discussed. So make quick work of him, and feel free to loot him if you need. Once you're done there, make your way on, and you'll be met with two more guards. Cut them down, and make your way through into the opening. Now, we actually leave the wine cellar, and we enter the giant chasm beneath it. Now, this is where the real fun begins. So, head on down. Alright, as you get down, you'll be met by three enemies. Very easy to take on. Behind them, you will have a room with a couple chests in it. Um, the very first thing I'm going to let you guys know is there are a lot of chests in this area, so I'm not going to be showing you where every single chest is. As you keep going down, you're going to see this guy off to the side. Uh, make short work of him. Yeah, even if he falls through the floor, make short work of him. The reason we paid so much attention to him is because around here, back behind the corner, you will find this little box. And inside this little box, you will get Kahari Steel. Now this is the steel required to make items um, from this dungeon, so this is definitely something worth seeking out. Uh, as you can see, they're kind of littered all over here, but you're going to have to take your time and actually search for them. Now we run into our next little tougher boss, and... but honestly, he, he's not really that big a deal. He staggers pretty easily, so you just keep, uh, keep guard up, and... Before you know it, down he goes. Go ahead and loot him. And back here, as I said, there are some more chests. As we continue on, you're going to be met with these two, um, looting some dead warriors. Now watch this gap. Uh, honestly, it's not too big of a deal. If you fail to make the gap, you will just fall down and you will be reloaded right back here at the entrance. So it's more just a waste of your time. Once you're back, take a nice good long run and jump and you're golden. Alright, uh, now there are these lanterns that are uh, kind of littered all over. They'll help you illuminate the area. Um, it's not letting me, nope, okay, let me take care of these guys first, there we go, alright, normally they don't come up here, but interact with it and you will light up the brazier. Alright, continuing on, we cross over this bridge into the darkened city, or the ruined city, I should call it. Uh, there will be a few guys here, and some actually pop up out of the ground. So make short work of them, like always, because we are warriors. And then light your torch. Alright, so we entered right here, and that's the crossroads we're standing at. So if we go down that way, uh, it looks like it'll take us where we want to go. And over here, it looks like it's just a guy guarding a chest. 
Which, I didn't even do anything and he came over here and fought me, so let's just... There. Alright. I don't care about your chest. Alright, pushing on through that first way we looked at, you will be met with uh, this giant uh, skeleton guy with a big, big hammer. He's not that tough with a legendary weapon. Make short work of him, and, uh, ooh, more steel, great. We need the steel, and we could always use some more, uh, points. Uh, this thing is creepy, listen, listen. What is that? What, do they sacrifice babies here? Alright, continue on, cross over the bridge, um, kill, naturally. And look, some more chests. Not getting them. Alright, up the path here, we'll be met with a couple standing there, and one pops out of the ground as well. So make sure I work with them, and continue the other way. So coming up here, we see we came in from the bottom area. Now there is something off to the left, but the path over to the right here uh, is where we want to go. Now that's the area to the left, and back here is this guy that we're still going to probably want to kill. Alright, so as we come down, you'll run into this little group. This is down the main um, uh, pathway in the ruined city here. Uh, you'll see, you know, a uh, brazier here, and it's a good indicator that uh, you want to branch off to the side. And the guy over here is kind of your next guide. He'll pull you over. Make short work of these guys. Light your brazier up, or your torch, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's cross this bridge. Alright, I just walked up on this guy, and none of them even noticed me, and he's pretty much almost dead, so not very tough, pretty easy, good XP. Make short work of them, but uh, other than um, the brazier here, or the, the standing torch, there's just a journal, and three chests. Heading on back, uh, you pretty much just continue your way up and around, and you will naturally do a loop to this uh, serpent pyre. Deal with the guy with the pike. He does a fair amount of damage, but he's not overly difficult. And like always, he has some steel and the good stuff. Alright. Pushing on down, uh, you will continue. Uh, you'll find your um, bridge, I should say, and this is the light before it, got it, and this is the stone bridge. So we are entering the final section of the ruined city. And so there's not much here, uh, it is just pretty much a straight path the way through. And then there's this guy off to the side. So, as I said, you just head straight on in, and um, I didn't really have to do anything. He came right out and found me, but he's in there through that doorway. And again, you can hunt around. There's tons of chests everywhere. There's just too many for me to really care to go through each and every one of them. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Oh, back there. All right. Let's do this. Come here. Oh, another one. Ooh, okay. Aha! And down he goes. And see, like, you come into pretty much any of the back pathways and you'll find more chests. Uh, but continue up around, and now this is an optional thing. There's kind of like a mini boss off to the right side here. It'll lead you into a, a spider infested cave. So hopefully, or hopefully you're not squeamish of the spiders. 
Hack and slash him up for dinner and continue forward. And now we have the spider demon. Now this guy is a tough boss. He, uh, he might be a mini boss, but he has a lot of health and uh, he does his corruption um, jizz thing here, which we all know and hate. But eventually you will kill him and uh, don't forget to bring a hatchet with you folks so that you can pull it out, give him a good old whack in the chin and get yourself a skeleton key, which uh, if you didn't have one with you, you will need it later. Alright, but make your way back out of the cave and head on up and you will find this, this temple or, yeah, I would go with temple. Alright, continuing across, it's uh, relatively easy, you're going to just be met with uh, two of these guys and uh, make short work of them and you just walk right in. There's not much else to tell. Alright, off around the center of the room here you'll have these uh, campfire like things um, so naturally pull out a torch and go around and light them once all of them are lit the gate will close this arcing beam will happen a beautiful light will do its thing and a boom boom oh god and you're under attack by the champion Alright, this is um, not that bad of a fight. He's pretty easy to dodge his attacks. He will get a couple good hits on you. He does a fair amount of damage. Um, I tried to deal with the, uh, my great sword and my axe, and there really wasn't a difference in damage. Uh, I tried with the daggers as well, but you don't cause any real effects. Um, the mo noteworthy thing he does here is this. Uh, he will s teleport to the middle of the room and he will make these uh, blasts of air, I guess. Uh, they will cause damage, so you want to avoid them. Uh, keep on fighting them, and he is just going to do the same thing. But every time he teleports, now that you know, you can just literally walk around and avoid it. But after the very first time he does it, he will summon in additional enemies that you have to avoid on top of avoiding his splash damage. So make short work of all of them and head back to the fight in the big guy. Keep on it. And uh, oh yeah, that's something else to avoid. If you're doing range, he will spit some kind of sh shooting acid thing. But keep on him, and eventually you will get the satisfying victory of... Oh, no, you don't. Get back here. Okay. Not today. Come on. There it is. He is dead, and all his minions die along with him. So go ahead and loot him, and we get the scroll for the Overseer armor. So we will go ahead and take that. Uh, then we also get the mace of the thag and then of course we get some more steel on top of it all But there you have it folks. That is the champion fight um, at the center of the wine cellar uh, This has a lot of replay potential and once you beat him the back gate will open up and you can just walk out and You will load right back outside here All right, so we did it folks. We are masters of the exiled land. Nothing can stop us But with this we got new stuff to go create So here is the first set of armor. This is the light set of armor you will uh, be able to obtain 
This is the medium dress of armor, also known as the soldier's armor, I believe. Not too bad looking. And my personal favorite, this is classified as the heavier armor on it, and I personally love the look of it. The mask and everything, it looks great. Great design on it, guys. Alright, now let's get to the weapons. So first off, we have the bow, which I forgot to load any arrows, so this is the best view of it you're gonna get. And then we have the pike, which uh, this is in lieu of the sword, actually. So that's not too shabby. I like the uh, like the look of it. Then we have the big hammer. And this is really cool looking. Then we have my personal favorite, the two-handed sword. I love this thing. Look at it. It looks amazing. Then we have the battle axe, which is probably the most diverse weapon you can use. And then the daggers. I really like the big emerald in the uh, in the hilt there. It's great, great looking. All right, but thank you so much for watching, guys. That will wrap it up for uh, the walkthrough and location of the wine cellar and all the rewards that come with it. Now I have a purge in coming, so I gotta go and go kill them. So wish me luck, and until next time, guys. I've been Necron370. Stay frosty, my friends. All right. Now let's go kill these guys.